Hi, I'm Chef Jorge Sanchez, and I have some Florida peppers. I'm gonna make a queso taco bowl. Students love this recipe. Bold, exciting flavors, super simple. Let's get started. There's a few components here, but this is really simple. Let's get at it. First thing I'm gonna do is assemble my black bean and corn salsa. I have black beans that I have uh, came from a can and I've opened them and drained the liquid. So we're gonna add the black beans. In with the black beans, we add a little Florida sweet corn. Along with our spices, they are listed for you in the recipe. Mix this all together. And put in even a little salsa in there as well. So, you just have to stir this up. Make sure that everything is incorporated. And this is nice if this rests for a short period of time. You could even do this the afternoon before for the following day. And now we're going to assemble the Spanish rice. Very simple. Let me get a, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate this in a half pan. This is gonna go either in the steamer or in the oven. You can do both actually. Now, when it comes to rice, uh, I like to give the dishwashers a little bit of a hand by spraying my pan. Otherwise, this can get kind of sticky. So, in goes my rice and my beef stock. You can use a beef base to start it, or you can use a broth. Those work as well. And in goes our seasoning per the recipe. A lot of bold flavors in this particular rice dish with all these beautiful flavors. Put a little bit of oil in there. And tomato and onion. And that's all going in together. We're gonna mix this up. And I need to get the film and the foil. So, when I'm baking rice or many other items, I don't like the foil to get pitted and then fall into the food. So we always start with the film wrap, and this is perfectly safe for the oven. There's no problem. Start with film, and then we finish it with foil on top. This, that film will be a barrier between the foil and the food. So make sure it's crimped up. Now this can go in the oven, 350, for about 20, 25 minutes, or you can put it in the steamer, but it takes a little bit longer to do that. So we're gonna put this one away. Taking out my taco meat from the steamer. Uh, it's been in there for some time. And now I have to check the temperature. Now, the way to best check temperatures of these pouches that we purchase is not to stick your bimetallic temperature gauge in the food. What we want to do is gently fold the pouch over my thermometer, just like that. And then I'm going to get a reading and it is at 165, perfect. Pull that off to the side, I can proceed. Notice over to my right here, I have some shotgun pans, and these are black shotgun pans. They're called shotgun pans because they're more linear. Uh, they're half pans, but going the long way, not the horizontal way. Remember, don't try to cook with these black pans. Uh, they, they're not for that, but they are very attractive when it comes to the background of our food. And so I like to use these, and I'm gonna go ahead and dump my taco meat in, just like that. 
So here we have our taco meat in, in uh, one black pan. Uh, I've also did the same thing with the queso. Took it out of the pouch, put it into our black shotgun pan, and then here's our Spanish rice that we transferred from a metal pan to the black plastic. You can see the, how attractive the black pan is when you are going to put this out in your steam well. Now we're not finished yet though. We want to add some more color, some more garnishing. But I like to use some like items here. For instance, here's a little shredded cheese. Go right on our queso. Okay. Also, how about on our rice, a little tomato on top. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the taco meat, adding color, adding uh, some other vegetables. Now, don't worry thinking this might alter your nutritional analysis, it doesn't. These are just some nice highlights and accents that make the food more visually appealing and your students are more likely to choose them based on the visual appeal. So here we go, doesn't that look great? This is how we would take it out to the service line and we're ready for our guests to arrive. This is served with some black bean and corn salsa, which we prepared, some store-bought salsa, two ounce, you can buy those in, in PCs, and about two ounces of tortilla chips. Now, when you're making your salsa, feel free to add some Florida peppers in there. Bell peppers are rich in antioxidants and amino acids. Amino acids are the protein that our body needs to build muscle. I like mine mild, but I know kids today like things a little spicier. There you have it, taco queso bowl. One of the favorites of the students using fresh Florida ingredients. Please try these recipes in your school menu cycle. Until next time, I'm Chef Jorge Sanchez. Cook well.